first one you can do it here this is the base and this is the one joint and this is the another joint and here this is the constant as an instrument and coming to this joint number one it is rotational drivers it is having the phenomenon of two different characteristics two different characteristics see first one it can orient here either in the clockwise or counterclockwise that means the position of this link 2 and link 3 with respect to the end of the will be changing its position from one coordinate system to the another coordinate system and in the signal coordinate system if the resisting in the signal coordinate system this vertical travel spacing is important. So vertical travel is the sense here the theta of will be getting varied. In the, in the class work also they will discuss the variations between transitory motions. Rotatory motion that is theta that is inclining the building with respect to a particular inclination theta. Next one coordinate is an orientation. Throughout this three different sixty degrees Voting towards the clockwise direction or is the counterclockwise direction. So here with the support of this particular joint or joint number one, it will be calling it as and it can perform four different degrees of continuous. First of all, in the case of the rotational travels, it can have a cylindrical or will be calling it as the similar joint is helpful for us with respect to skin holding structure in the work supporting this vertical traverse position. So here vertical traverse will change its position with respect to the theta, whether it will be in the positive or not. And it's clearly specifying the with respect to the rotational traverse, the coordinate systems or coordinate degrees that are being getting deviated. It is changing its coordinate frames or coordinate systems. And with respect to this vertical drivers, particular inclination is getting changed depending upon the its theta changes. And next, from this link 1 to link 2, which is having the sliding motion, that is nothing but the positive x and negative x moments. Other than this, nothing other movements can perform by this particular link. And this link will be submerging in the link 1. For example, if you have been considered this and the link 2, and this and link 1, and this link 2 will be inserting in the link 1. And finally, at the end of this link 2, This end of the is having the multi components that is its orientation, its revolution, and sliding character. So, three different initiatives are to be used. That will be falling as a rolling page and yaw. Roll, page, and yaw. This class we have been clearly described regarding these three parameters for which I am going to the other arm specifications. The three degrees of freedom to be here in the arm of the focus system. And what are those three? Here, the rotational drivers, radial drivers, and vertical drivers. In the rotational drivers, we also Discuss the, the rotatory type of joints which will be moving towards the left and more right. That is nothing but if they are clockwise or counterclockwise, this will be getting taken. That means the first characteristics in the case of horns is recognized with respect to the free hand. Next, the radial drivers. So, if the radial drivers, if the radial drivers, 
will be having a change in orbits first. So orientation is positive to some extent, but not completely when compared to our given hand. And that raises to degree will not be positive or polluting just like this is joint when human hand is considered. In the case of these vertical trackers, there is also maximum acuity to obtuse angle specifications. The variation of theta in between obtuse to acute angle can be progressed. Yes. These are the three different steps that we have been seeing. Coming to the robot haste. So, yet a bit more. This we have been seeing in our joint. This is the type of, this is the joint. And you join the joint. One of the bigger constructions. How many types of bridges are being existing only at this particular bridge? Or we will be simply calling the type of joint. Right. We will be clearly specifying here. The attachment has been taken. The attachment to the different types of things has been attached to it. Attached to a robot arm. And then just we have a and block attaching the next one. This is the pitch condition. By supporting the this thing, this thing will be sliding the here from into clockwise and counterclockwise direction. This will be getting so this particular thing under one more hinge support as a minimum. With this hinge support, this hinge support another your structure, but in word, the sliding the theta variations will be happening in different directions, opposing directions or perpendicular directions with respect to the before joint. So, observe clearly here, here for the link 1, there is a link 1 considering, for the link 2 is considering, and this is the link 3 that we are being For this link 1, there is the slighted or changing in its theta. This will be calling as an phi value, is circular accumulation, circular accumulation, cylindrical accumulation, because the axis is very much clear, the axis is fixed, is constant, and it is sliding upon its fingers. And coming to the link to the link to the link shaved here, and this link to the is having this moment of the same circular interpolation or orientation will be falling and this orientation is quite opposite with respect to the link one orientation. So orientation of link one is completely different with respect to the orientation of this link of this. Right? So this is called as pitch, this is basic and this is the your opposite direction of the orientational moment and next is the role. So role is coming in, will be having the 360 degrees of the movement and only for this particular one. Here 360 is not possible because it is objecting here the subjoint of the movement of the entire section towards this and here it will be getting stopped. In other words, this will be getting stuck due to the solid alignment here, it will be getting stuck and next place is on that. Complete 360 degrees is not at all possible. And simultaneously here also, the complete 360 degrees is not possible. It will be moving to this particular category. Here the solid, you can see the existing and obstructing of this movement. So, entire 360 is not possible. Maximum we can consider 270 degrees is possible. Either of the orientation, either we are positive or it is on the Negative. Simultaneously in this, you are also. But here in the whole, it is this experience is this possible. Here, it is the whole of this type of consisting of two or three different degrees of freedom. So, this is one degree of freedom, and this is the second degree of freedom, and this third degree of freedom. Right? So, we can consider, we can consider three degrees of freedom. 
and it can be limited to only two digits. Third is called if the type of joints has been changed here, he links to the type of the other changes on the automatically the degrees of freedom will be getting altered. It may be increased or may be decreased. Only three degrees of freedom I put better as well. It can be increased or can be decreased. That is as per our convenience and as per the type of work that we need to perform at the work work. That is the basic source. So the output that is the joint joint to the end of it. For referencing particular characteristics. So here we have detailed characteristics regarding the pitch, moving towards the up and down moments of the wrist, and the yaw having left and right moments. The rolling here is completely rotated. That's it. Right? Coming to the point of the total anatomy. How many number of joints are exist? Robot anatomy. So classification, one of those classifications. So robot is the any number of parts of the anatomy of the elements of the robot anatomy. Elements of the robot anatomy. Classification of the robot anatomy. Right? You have to consider this particular answer. You have to or keep in mind that the same answer is the same. Different types of questions in the field, which is the same. And then the robot anatomy will be having the joints and limbs. Here, the manipulators are an industrial area, so they have a series of joints and limbs. So, based upon the type of works that need to perform on the work part, different types of joints need to be allocated. And with respect to different types of things, this will be getting So, you need to consider it as a single element based on two different links. One joint should be exist. So, it will be chain link to the plane. There will be interlinkage between one element to the other, or one link to the other link. So there will be a hinged type of joints. Here the robot anatomy is a wide study depending upon these types of joints and different links. Right? And links will be having of different dimensional axes. Very particular dimensions, say the rectangular one of square one of rotation. Indeed, to join these two different types of links, the single joint is so by this we can conclude that two links contain the proper joint and then power. And hence the number of joints in your robot, you need to identify the number of joints in your robot. We are having the clear record that J is equal to L number of links in a robot minus one. Because two different links constitute with respect to one joint. Right? That is the basic phenomenon. And the way to identify n number of joints existing in the robot is equal to number of links minus one. And the robot joint will alternate function between two links that is either it might be of the axis orientation or is the sliding point, sliding joint or axis orientation or rotational strategy. As we have been discussed in the student pitch, yeah, and okay. based upon that, we will be identifying how many degrees of freedom are associating with respect to each type of joint that is being considered in respect to theta, theta with respect to phi value. So, these two are being existing or not, we will have to verify. Right? Coming to the arm geometry. So, what are the different specifications that will be existing for each and every type of joint? So, each joint is connected with respect to the two links, as we have been discussed now, and two elements can also the joint side and two the joint that are And this joint will be provided and related to the movement between these two links, that is, either maybe of the input link one and output link. This robot link, the rigid component, 
So here, if you again verify linear type of joint, linear type of joint, so this is the cylindrical piston arrangement for an example of this portion. And this is the piston. This piston will be sliding over this particular or internally to this cylinder. So from this is the bottom head center and this is the top head center and it will be getting slided from bottom head center to top head center and next again to the back point. So here we are having this is the linear type of chain because this direction will not be getting changed. This is one of the type of chain. And here you have been considered this is an orthogonal chain. So here orthogonal concern, we can obstruct the type of medium that is passing from input to the other direction and can be trans change its direction to the output channel. Or it will change the ticket, it may change the ticket. So this diameter when you have been considered this diameter, this is 5 mm and this is 5 mm. And output is 10 mm. So the material which is entering into this side and the material which is entering into this side also together will be entering towards the output. So non different which are being into the system entering into the output with with combination of its volumes from different directions, volumes, the end of the those are the changes. So total quality is merging here and that is moving to this particular direction. Clear? The third one is the rotational joint. So rotational joints to put just now we have seen. So this will be orienting in the clockwise or counterclockwise to a particular theta orientation or theta inclination. And here is also twisting type of joint. And this orientation is denoted with respect to the pi, which is having positive orientation and the negative orientation. Next one it is a revolving type of joint. So it is having its directional change and changing of its orientation also. So if you have a check this the input is being entered here and towards the y-axis the material is being delivering. Upon revolutionary consideration, the y-axis resolution for 90 degrees of orient chest it is in phase, that is changing phase from y-axis to the z-axis output. So input to x-axis can try to delivery is different to z-axis for the delivery. That is the major constant of this revolving type of joint with respect to the character changed suppose. Next one here will be having a detailed look detailed to the motions of this particular joint. First one, linear type of joint. It is denoted with respect to the letter L. The relative movement between this input link and output link is translational sliding motion. So here axis will be of two links and each and every link is behaving in a parallel parallel moment that is sliding towards the X and contraction position to the circuit minus x. Moving on to this orthogonal strategy, a new type of joint is being existing. So here, this is uh, orthogonal for the traditional and stationary sliding motion of the system. So input and output links both are having the perpendicular type of moment. This here orthogonal in having the perpendicular of direction. Same the changing its direction. Entering in one direction and changing in another direction. And rotational law is again it is perpendicular to axis. So clearly visible with respect to this perpendicular axis. Right? Rotational and twisting and rotation. So here, based upon that, we'll be having a simple question here. It is twisting, rotation, twisting. And finally, under factor is also in the characteristics of rotating strategy. Here, this thing, the next is a total nature and next rotatory type of joint. And next, here, twisting and rotational, both are possible. Here, rotational, rotational, and next, twisting. 
So considering for which type of joints, which type of joints, the robot will be analyzing the mathematical. First one, verify chain, translatory, translatory, and here the rotational type of joint, rotationally, and next the translationary, and translationary to again rotational. So finally, other vectors will be analyzed, which having only the rotatory type of joint. So clear the diagram at the level of such adjustment by the Translation and sliding motion. Sliding motion and into cylinder. Piston and the internal. So, piston cylinder arrangement. So, piston cylinder arrangement. Internal is that is transfer. So, T and the transfer is and rotator circuit is the circular symbol to be applicated. So, this is the again translator itself. So, translator and other words again the cylinder piston arrangement here is the represent here. Finally, the end vector should be initiated with respect to the R. R type of joint is the rotatory. And simultaneously here, TBR and here. So, translatory and here vertical translatory motion. And next here the rotatory motion. And here the translatory motion. Second cylinder piston arrangement. And next the rotatory type of joint for the end element. Finally, the CV material can be that rotation, rotation and translation. So here, initially verified from the base, we will be having an ideal into zero, as we have been discussed at the base level, and rotatory, this is the rotatory type of joint, and another link which is supported with the rotatory type of joint again, and translatory motion. So translatory motion and then move to and fro motions. So these are the best examples related to the translatory motions, rotatory motions, and evolutory motions, and even the translatory motions in the case of this vertical direction as well as in the general type of directions. So how these will be getting energized? One of the basic alignments will be existing to control these uh, entire movements and whether these movements are being considering or performing a certain way or not. How do we have to guess? So here we are having, having the robot control systems. So these robot control systems are consisted uh, because of the microprocessor based controls because microprocessor is a device which has the, uh, the programming nature of it. The, dump, the program will be dumped into the microprocessor. The processor will give the particular directions to the end number of links and joints, different types of links and different types of joints to perform or to execute the particular movements that has been given as per the program. So here, first one, if you have been considered limited sequence control, it is an elementary control type which is having the simple motion of cycles such as pick and place of robot. So pick and place in the sense, we have been say, taking the uh, crane, it is the bird, it is getting bigger from one place and it is orienting to particular translatory motion, this type of translatory motion and is relieving over there, nothing but pick and place. Or else, a robot is considering picking the water bottle from one place and it is translating its motion from one place to another place and it is releasing to that particular place. So, there is a simple concept. And whether the mechanism is being performed by the different types of joints and things or not will be given a feedback channel to the controller. And controller will verify whether that particular work is being progressing or not. That is the basic system that will be performing or inspecting by the controller. It is calling as inspection. So, yeah, that as well as the programming inspection, the activities are performing or movements are not. To verify it, the first system will sensors or feedback loops. We will be calling as closed loop or loops. Right. And this can be operated in two different modes. Either it can be operated by hydraulic phase or in the pneumatic phase. Second one, it is a playback with the point to point control. This is the best example of a drilling work. Drilling work. Drilling work is the particularly only at particular regions and with particular diametrical angle. 
as per the tool base, that is 6 mm or 10 mm or as per the work cycle, it will be getting varied. And from the starting phase and to the video component and next to the right edge or right top section. So we again taken the square condition starting phase, starting place, that is left and down, down left, and next middle point of the part and next to the right, right up the side direction. That is point to point and control system. Next one, play that is the continuous part control. Anything is the best example for it. And see, this is the problem that is not the good, it is good. And next step, this is the process of connecting the cable and waiting for the process of the cable. So, point to point control is the key. Only at that particular point, the one part, the one part, the one part, the one part, the one part. अरे उनका मिलिंग एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट के लिए उनको मंडे के लिए कंटिन्यूअस कटिंग और कंटिन्यूअस रिमूवल ऑफ डी मटेरियल अंटिल वी गेट दी परफेक्ट जामेट्री स्पेसिफिकेशन आज पर दी इनपुट गिवन इन द प्रोग्राम तो इनपुट की फाइल है इसी का अंदर कंटिन्यूअस का इट इस गेटिंग नॉन इस पार सो दैट इस बेस्ट Thank you. 